Hello, I'm Tim Morris from Cincinnati State Community College. Today I want to talk about mean aerodynamic cord. And specifically, what does the mean aerodynamic cord mean for aircraft maintenance technicians and aircraft weight and balance? First off, let's talk about what the cord is. The cord is a line. Here I have an airplane. I have a nice wood airplane here. The cord is the line from the leading edge this is the, the front, right? This is the leading edge to the trailing edge of the wing. It is the line that passes from the leading edge to the trailing edge. It goes right through the center of the wing. That is the cord. Now, when we're talking about weight and balance, this airplane is going to be in flight. The wing is going to be holding the airplane up. So what I want to know is where, where on the wing, where on the wing is this going to be holding the airplane up? Now, typically, we want to see that an airplane, uh, the, air, the airplane wings, most wings generate most of their lift, the lift vector, is somewhere around 30% cord, uh, give or take. And this will vary by design, but it needs to be somewhere in this range. Now, this is why we're doing weight and balance. It's not for us, it's for the pilots. Here lies the problem. If I want to say, where is this thing going to be suspended from, if I take a string and I hold it up, this wing is pretty easy because it's a straight wing. But what happens, where would be my lift points, not only on this axis, but on this axis, where would be my lift points um, if this airplane is in balance, ready for flight? The problem lies when we have a tapered wing airplane, because unlike this wing, the straight, I can find this point here will be the same point all the way along the wing. And, and it doesn't matter where I put my strings. But this one, it does matter. Now, what the, here, so we talked about cord. Let's talk about the mean aerodynamic, aerodynamic cord. Okay, the mean cord is the average. So if I have, uh, let's say I have a cord here and I measure this, and this was 20 inches. And this cord up here on this section here, that this cord was something around 100 inches. So 100, uh, 120, if I add them up, find the average, the average cord would be 60. So if I found where it measures at 60 inches, that would be my average cord. Okay, so this is mean aerodynamic cord. Let's take one more look and see what we're talking about. Here I have my favorite airplane for weight and balance. And you can see that I have suspended it by a spring. String. So when these when these wings are lifting, when the wings are wings are producing lift, the airplane will will be supported by that. Now, if my airplane is out of balance, it won't. Uh, it will, it'll take so much correction that my pilots probably won't be able to fly it. So that's why we have to be in balance. The portion of the mean aerodynamic cord lets me figure out where along this cord, remember this is another wing that has, it's not a straight wing, it's got taper here. Now, we are going to express this uh, so I can compare this airplane to that airplane. And we're gonna, the only way we can do that is if we express it in percent. Because obviously this is a different dimension so if I was going to do this for radio-controlled airplanes, they fly like big airplanes. People who fly RC airplanes do weight and balance. And by having a percent, I can compare this airplane to this airplane. So I'm going to call this my, my leading edge. I'm going to call that 100. Or I'm going to call that zero. I'm going to call this zero. And I'm going to call back here at the trailing edge 100%. And I'm going to find that my my uh, safe place to fly is going to be somewhere probably between 28 and 35 percent mean aerodynamic cord. So our takeaways, mean aerodynamic cord is an average of, of my cords. Average of the tip, the average of here, and it's going to be uh, designated by the manufacturer. The second thing is that I want you to know is wings fly somewhere around 30 percent mean aerodynamic cord. Okay. So if I'm out of balance and my CG is somewhere, if I, if I translate it to where it's at, you know, I've got a number line, my CG. Well, if I convert this into 
somewhere between here and here. My CG has got to lie somewhere along this wing and somewhere not too far from this 30%. The next thing is definitions, leading. This is the mean aerodynamic chord on this. We found that that here was by average, right? The mean, mean aerodynamic chord is a slice right through here. This is the leading edge, mean aerodynamic chord. This is the trailing edge. 